Hey y'all, it's Costume Jeweler. We are back at the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store on Hillsboro Avenue in Tampa, Florida looking for designer bags, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to bring to you for resale on YouTube. Live sales, those are every Saturday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit that notification bell, click all, make sure that bell turns black so you're notified of these video uploads as well as my live sales. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thumbs up for this video, one of my favorite thrift stores ever. And don't forget, at my live sales, I bring to you jewelry, purses, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets below market value. And we have lots of giveaways as well. I thrift smart as best I can in order to bring you better prices. Make sure you bring cash. This is a cash only store. Look at that big beautiful sign right there. I love this place so much. You have to come here at least once a week. If I lived closer to it, I'd probably be in here every day. And I'm betting that Wednesday is their busiest day. And oh, look at this bracelet I'm wearing. I don't know, it's sterling silver, but I don't know if that part right there is gold or not. I have to test it. But that is the bracelet I'm wearing today and I love it so much. So let's go thrift. Here's hoping we find some bags. Look at all these. Michael Kors. Another Michael Kors. What is this one? XO. So we're going to see a lot of purses in here. We're also going to see a lot on the back wall. This is nice. It's Michael Kors pebbled leather. Super different. And I say it's super different because it has this big gold emblem right here on the edge. Michael Kors signature. Coach crossbody. Oh, this is different signature series DKNY always look at the totes too because you never know another Michael Kors lots of these I think in my humble opinion I think Mark Michael Kors is a saturated market look at this Dooney tote this was actually behind the counter last week I don't know when they why, when they decide look at this so I didn't show y'all this last week this is not real but it's real cute Look at this one. Oh, and just by the way, if you do think I packed something up here, feel free to email me. And if I did actually buy it, I will be glad to email you a price quote. Look at this calf hair, y'all. Look at this piece right here. Y'all know I love calf hair and look at how beautiful this is. I think we gotta have this one. This is too great. Wow, look at that gorgeous bag. Backside is leather. This one here is called Like Dreams, L-I-K-E. I've seen this at TJ Maxx before. Bagalini, it's a good brand, but because it's brown, I'm gonna pass on it. Another Michael Kors. Calvin Klein, I think what you love about my videos is sometimes they're short and sweet and you see many purses. Another brand new Calvin Klein, Liz Claiborne. And if you're out shopping for the purses, you really can't judge a, as they say, a book by its cover. Look at this J. Crew right here. So I never buy J. Crew. I'm not sure if this is leather or not, but I love the gold hardware. It's a deep gold, black leather. I think it's leather. But look how pretty this bag is, y'all. No idea what the retail value was of it. It's a crossbody. And I just love it. A little bit of rub right there on the zipper. But what do y'all think about that one? So I'm liking the way that looks. We'll think about that one. On the way to the purses on the wall, we're going to check out this top counter of goodies right down through here that's where you can sometimes find jewelry boxes what is this 
makeup case caboodles. I don't even know what is this. What's it? Probably for your makeup, I guess. A makeup case. Pay close attention to the tops of these counters because you sometimes can find something great up here. And you know we love our signage. That is funny. It's a cute barn bird house. Okay, let's see. This is an unusual bit right here. So this is too much fun not to get. I think CC would appreciate the humor in this one. Wow, I love that. It looks like it's in good condition. I think we'll get it. And look at this crazy big bold beautiful thing. Wow. Oh, see, I love this one too. This is going to be a good jewelry haul today. I believe it is. And then this crazy piece on a silver tone chain that's missing a rhinestone. Glass beads, a lot of crazy fun abalone shell. I like that one too. Old Napier piece upside down, but you can see it right there. Maybe that's worth money, I don't know. So that's Napier, an older version. Good condition though. If you're a collector of that, let's see, always looking for real pearls. What is this big, bold, crazy thing right here at the back? What is this gaudy, crazy necklace? Here's the brand, the signature. This one right here is too fun not to get, it's just gaudy. Look at this, y'all. That is huge. We are getting it. So, so far. Charter Club piece. Pretty, but I don't want to buy it. I don't want that one. I do not want it. Daisy Fuentes. Wish these were glass, but they're acrylic. These are cold to the touch, y'all. I'm gonna get these in hopes that they're jade, and I'll just test them. Look at that. I don't have that 
I don't always have that much luck in here with jewelry, but those are glass beads, whether they're jade or not. So we're going to pack those up just because they're awesome. Barrel clasp on this one, and I'm not sure what style of beads these are either. Purple in color, not amethyst. Maybe, maybe not, I doubt it. But we're going to get those two. Amber. Let's see if we can hold it up. We can see through it. I'm gonna pass on that one just because. What is this one here? Very blingy. Not gonna get it though. Um, it does not look well made, so I'm gonna pass on it. This is something with some 14 karat gold flakes in it. I think this is a vintage piece right here. Hoping it's definitely vintage, but I'm hoping it's designer signed. The gold tone looks like it's in good condition, so not faded. So I think we'll get it for that reason. Plus, it's super cool. So this one is not designer signed, but look at that. I'm going to get it for... This is in great condition. Gold tone. No fading on the gold tone. And unusual. These are nice, too. Ceramic class looks old. I love this one as well. This pendant does not match the necklace, but look how pretty that is, y'all, for an unsigned beauty. Look at that. So I don't see any signature mark on that one, but isn't that gorgeous? Any rhinestone choker necklace. Y'all don't care anything about this, but I'm going to tell you, if you're at a thrift store and you find something that you use and it's very discounted like this, go ahead and pack it up. So worth getting. Definitely has nothing to do with jewelry. But I love looking at their little items over here. some good leather vintage leather travel bags here before look at this mirror i told you look at this that's why you dig around in these things y'all i mean why is this mirror right here and y'all know that you love your vanity sets and i love selling you pieces we're gonna pack this up and you'll see this in a sale in the future look at that now you see why red white and blue is my favorite look at this y'all bush beer soap you can't go wrong with that either. That's fun. This right here would make for a great giveaway or a gag gift for Christmas or for that mountain man in your life. I mean, the, nothing says a mountain man like bush beer soap, right, y'all? And mountain men really exist. You thought it was just mountain goats, but it's not. Eve St. Laurent, oh my God. I like it, but we're gonna pass on it. And for all of you that do not like having dehydrated thumbs, look at this right here. 
This is expensive, and I'm gonna pack this one up. I bought one in here before, so I use that myself. Look at the jewelry. Look at that right there. That's a beautiful set right there. Looks like a huge amethyst. I wish it were not missing a rhinestone, but it is. on the search for men's wallets as well. What is this? That's real snake skin. Vintage, not sure if it's worth pecking up though. We may get this one y'all, this is pretty great. Kate Landry. This one is called Day Moon. Never heard of it. Or Day Mood. So this is not real coral, but you know what rhymes with real coral nearly? Real cool. Look at this piece. Stretch bracelet. Crazy good piece. Love that so much. Wow. Wow. If y'all were new kids on the block fans, look at this, y'all. Can't make this stuff up, can we? Love this tooled leather bracelet. Is that a Thunderbird? I think we're going to get it, too. I would pick this one up if it was real coral. I mean, not coral, but um, turquoise, but it's not. What does that say on the back of there? I don't think it says 925, but look at these little, I don't know if these would be diamond chips or not. I don't believe it to be sterling, but I'll check it, but I'm, I'm going to take the chance on this because I think those might be diamond chips. The clarity of them is not that great. I'm not a gemologist by any means, but because I think those might be diamonds, I'm going to pick this one up. I would like to call this a cake bead bracelet. I don't know that it is, but for that reason, I'm going to get this one too. This one's unusual, but it's fading. I'm gonna call this a dichroic bracelet, and I like dichroic glass. We're gonna get that. These kind of look like a Christmas tree, but I don't know if those are jade or not. These are really cool, but they're missing something. But they're abalone, and I think I'm gonna leave them behind, even though I think people that are crafty could. Do something with them. These right here are too pretty not to get, so I'm gonna get those. I love those. So we're gonna take a look at some of these. And there's some on the wall down there that usually I take a look at when I check out, so you don't always see those. I'm gonna show you each of these because I know some people be watching, they'll be coming out here tomorrow to buy them, and that's okay. That's the fun of it. Love that red one. Love that Dooney, springtime. There's a Mark Jacobs right there. Another one right there. Some coach. 
de red de, de... Seems like it's in good condition. I really hope. Look through these a little bit, give you an idea of what's here. Got some butterscotch amber right there in the center. This cross is very unique, probably all gemstones. Look at that one. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> Amethyst, this one's unusual right there in the center. Man, look at this ring. I'm not even sure what this is. What is that? <laughs> That a big, huge amethyst right there. You got that beautiful abalone, sterling. Then make sure you always take a look at the bracelets. I hardly check out the gold. This is pretty abalone shell. What is the maker on that? Sure, who that maker is. Not the tiger eye bug. If you ever start coming to the red, white, and blue, can I just forewarn you? Seriously, is that Cece's little? Look at that. That's so cute. I don't think she could sit in it though. You'll be addicted. And also, when you turn your back, they put out more purses. It's a super huge store, which you already know. What's my advice when thrifting? Don't blink. Do not blink, because you will miss something, I promise. Always look through the luggage as well. I found a many a coach bag. I have found many a coach bag. So I'm not gonna get this, y'all. I'm not sure who carries briefcases this heavy anymore. But this is a very cool piece. Does not look like it's been hardly used. I mean, maybe I should get it, I'm not sure. But look in the sin side right here. It might have been a government-owned piece some time ago. It's right here. And then look over here at all these goodies. Oh my god. Yes, we are going to look through all of this. Most of it. I don't ever pull all the artwork out. Look at this for all you kitty lovers. The Field Guide to Famous Felines. Felines, not lions. Look at that. It's a pretty cool poster. Well, maybe I should. Maybe I should look through. That was framed at Hobby Lobby. It's a pretty nice piece. I don't think this is probably authentic, but would look great in an office if those even exist anymore. At least your home office does. And here's another one like that one, $7.99. Perfect condition. Maybe I should dig through the artwork. Now it makes me feel like I'm gonna miss something.
This piece right here make for a, you know, I don't know if that was an ashtray or if that's a trinket box. But it does not matter to me because it is wonderful. And we're going to get it. Made in Italy. The Nutcracker Collection. I'm telling you, this place will spoil you. And look at this box. This is a nice one. You have to find the person with the initial C. But I like this one. And I love selling the trinket boxes. You can adorn this with your own little imagination, crafty imagination. flower frogs. I don't know what y'all use them for, but I think they're always fun to pick up and they they pretty much resell very well. They do. What's down here? I always pick these up hoping if it's a Waterford. But this one is not. And they've got all these cute little kitty cats. Let's go check out the purses all by ourselves. Look at this. Nobody is here. This one is Sandra Roberts. Oh my gosh. Why? I love it. Look at this. Never seen anything like this before. First thing, look at that. That is super cool. Inside looks like pretty good condition and I've spotted a Brahmin. Let's skip right on down here. Look at this. It's older. The inside is not perfect condition. It's not super bad. I will think about this one, but for now I will leave it hanging up. But this one right here, I don't think we need to think about that. Look at that Cuba. Great brand. Love that bronze chain. Shoulder strap. Super fancy. And the inside is perfect condition. So I think we may get that and who knows. And behind that Cuba is this one right here, made in Italy. I've never heard of this brand before at all. And here's what it looks like. I'm gonna do a little more research on this one because it's made in Italy, see if it's a fancy brand. ADD gets the best of you. I'm hoping this bag is all leather because I'm liking the way that looks. That super large tote, look at this. Looks like it is, maybe it is. Let's check out the inside. So this one's not branded, we're gonna pass on it. I don't even know if it's real leather or not. Look at this one. Well, that's a gorgeous bag. I think I have seen this brand before. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna see if we're gonna take it home. If y'all have heard of this, it looks like it's Katie or Caddy. If y'all have heard of this brand before, please educate me in the comments below. I appreciate it. But a pretty good looking bag believe it to be leather there's not anything on the inside that says it is but it's looking like it's leather but that brand name it seems like I've seen that before y'all help me out I'm telling you I'm skipping all over the place we've skipped all these down here let me take one more look right here where was that coach at right here Rosetti it's right behind the coach it's kind of a wicker type bag isn't it I am not going to get this one because you can't 
kind of tell right there the stitching is a little bit off. It's kind of lightweight too. Because that stitching's off, I'm passing on it, ladies. Nanette Lapore. Hoping this is something special. And then what about this bag? Is this one gonna be super special or not? And looky right there at this green one. My gosh, they're all over the place. This is the brand on this one, Harris Tweed. Looks a little Burberry, a little upscale. Handles look leather. And it's by, so it's called Treasure. Looks like a fall style bag. I'm gonna check it out. We may get it, we may not. Oh my gosh, everybody. Tyler Rodan. Don't think I've ever seen that brand before. I've heard the name. Now you've got this brand called Yoke. I will say this, back in the 80s and 90s, I remember the cologne. I've never seen the purse. What do y'all think about this one? Should we get it or not? Crossbody bag, black, maybe not really pebbled leather, but it looks like leather. I like the way this bag looks. It's called 1937 Accessories. Looks like it's leather. Maybe a canteen bag. Maybe an expensive brand. Might be special. Not sure. Here's another one. I don't know if we should buy every bag that we see made in Italy or not. What do y'all know about this one? So I don't know y'all. What do you think? I know there's purse experts out there. I know there are. Cause I've talked to you before. This one, B. Mikowski, look at that. Cross body bag, love the hardware. You'll always see that on the inside. That's a good looking cross body right there. I keep skipping right past this one, y'all look at this, this is Brighton. Beautifully made, looks in good condition. Something about that Brighton brand holds its value. Uh, the jewelry certainly does. And this purse looks in excellent condition. We may have to think about it. Just look for the Brighton heart. And if those are ever tarnished, they can be polished. Just polish them up like any other metal. Signature coach. I've heard of this brand before too, Draper James, but I don't know anything about it. So it's Draper James, one to pick up. Got your Rosetti right there in your fall colors. She's looking a little bit, almost a little, a little bit. Um, what would you say about her? I'll just leave her alone. What is this coach here? That's a nice one. Martina right behind this one. Right there. Always looking for that treasure. Where is it? more over here Tignanello Not 
sure if it is or not. Might be embossed. Was hoping it was something fancy. Nine West. What is this one here? Hmm. This is Lulu Guinness. I'm not quite sure that works anymore, does it, ladies? Look at that. He loves me, he loves me not. There's Rosetti disguising herself as a snake. What else we got here? Always look through the glassware, you never know. Let's go check out the bags right here on the other side of this counter. So y'all know I sell also whatnots, doodads, trinkets, knickknacks, things like that. Look at this napkin holder. I love this so much. Y'all know I love moon and sun jewelry. This looks to be handmade and check this out. I think we're gonna pack it up. We have the top right here, but look how great this is. A little bit of a nick right there, not a big deal to me. This is too cool to leave behind. So I'm gonna bring this for resale on one of my YouTube lives. And those are every Saturday at 8.30 p.m. If I did not mention that in the beginning. I love this piece right here so much. Wow, wow. Tissue holder. I like to always check out the briefcases because you never know. And you've got these purses here, so don't miss those. I think it's cute, but I'm not going to get it. But isn't that adorable? Spikes and Sparrow. I like my coaches though, the leather. You can usually spot those pretty quick. Because they will be leather. Okay, y'all, I think that's it. Off to the next thrift store. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, click all. Come to the live sales. They're on Saturdays, 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lots of giveaways watch these daily videos also make sure you hit that notification bell and click all that way you don't miss out on them thank you again for watching and until next video happy thrifting bye